morning everyone <laughs> literally just getting my cuppa sorted and uh plonking myself down with you lovely lot let's see who we've got coming on i'll just leave it a couple more minutes to see if anyone is going to come on thank you for joining me if i feel a little bit like i should be on some kind of talk show like this morning hi emma oh yeah there's people coming on now fab I feel like I need to have like a sidekick with me, like Phil and Holly. <laughs> How's everyone's morning going? It's really weird and blustery and, but lovely and sunny this morning. Um, so I've pulled the curtains across in my living room because um, I was getting blinded by the sun. Fun times. We don't want that when I'm uh, doing a live. Right, so. Ah, uh, hi Hannah. I've got a weird feeling my comments are slightly delayed on this, so I'm just gonna put my phone on as well to make sure that everything is up to date. Bear with. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh. As you can tell, I'm, oh, yeah, there's a slight delay. Okay, anywho, let's get started because there's a few of us on now. So, um, yes, thank you for coming. Our Fiona, no sun here yet, but not too wet. Good, hopefully that will soon change. Um, yes, so thank you for coming and joining me um, and giving up some time on your Tuesday morning. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Hannah. Uh, I run Duck Lane Books, which is uh, as born. Um, I'm an as born independent organizer, and I joined as born back in November last year, so 2019. So it's almost coming up to my uh, what my first birthday of being an as born organizer, and um, yeah, it's all very exciting. So much has changed since I have joined. So much has changed in me since I've joined, which I'll get onto in a minute. Um, so yes, I joined in November last year through a lovely lady that lives about five minutes away from me called Julie. And she is now one of my best friends. Um, I saw a post on Facebook saying that she was looking for people to add to her team. And I messaged her to say that I was interested. And um I had been toying with the idea of joining Usborne while I was on maternity leave. My little girl is almost four. So yeah, it was a good three and a bit years ago. Um, <clears throat> and for some reason or other, I never really acted upon it. Um, I think a lot of it might have been to do with my mental health because I had quite bad postnatal depression and um, while my daughter was very little and not long after I'd been signed off work with my postnatal depression because it was that bad my marriage broke down and my husband left so I was a bit all over the place as you can imagine and various things had happened I had counseling I was on medication and I slowly started to feel a little bit better and as I did I decided that I wanted something to do for me. I knew that the dynamic of my family had changed. Um, I knew that it was gonna be different from now on because it was just me and my little girl, but I wanted to do something where I could earn money, bring some money into our household, um, but something that I enjoyed. I've always loved reading and I love children's books um and uh yeah and I just kind of needed to get my groove back basically and at the time I was on benefits and I didn't want to go into another year because it you remember it was November I didn't want to start the new year um being on these benefits and not having anything in place to get me off them um it was kind of yeah, things felt a bit bleak and I needed to 
put steps in place to be able to change that situation really so yeah I saw this um, post on Facebook and I messaged this lady and said I'm interested and she messaged me back and she said fab do you fancy going for a coffee and uh, and I'll tell you all about it um, and I know we can't really do that right now if anyone was inquiring to me about wanting to join Osborne I would probably say the same thing if they live nearby let's go for a cuppa and I'll tell you all about it because being a mum um, having that kind of social interaction with people who get you but who also know you as you so I am Hannah not just so and so's mum um, is really important but I know we can't really do that right now because we're in lockdown so here I am with my cuppa sharing my story with you guys um, so where are we my notes ah yes yeah. so I joined Osborne in the November and then my lovely mentor um, invited me along to uh, an, a Christmas event that she was doing and I absolutely loved it I completely got the bug it was so nice and it was lovely because it was a local event there were lots of people that I knew that I was bumping into and they were all really kind of excited to see me and to see me doing something like this so behind the stall with Jules and nattering away and showing off the books and helping kids choose nice things to spend their pocket money on and it was just all really lovely and rewarding and then after that Christmas came and there was a training event up near Coventry um, in the January that I went to and I was like a deer in headlights. <laughs> I'd never been to anything like this before. It was in a lovely hotel. I think it was a Marriott Country Club one um, in a big conference room. And there were so many people. And I was quite intimidated because um, I went with my mentor and she'd been doing it for years. She'd been doing Usborne for 14 years. So she knew a lot of people and she knew the business like the back of her hand. And I was just, yeah, completely out of my comfort zone. And I really needn't have worried because as soon as I got in there, there was, it was like I'd found, I'd found my people. <laughs> like it, the people that were on my table, I felt like I had known them for years. Um, we were just nattering away. We all had so much in common, not just through the books, but also that we had children. Um, some of us were going through divorces. Some of us had bereavements and things like everyone had their own lives their own things going on in their lives but we all had like this common love of books and being parents or just yeah providing for the children that are around us in our lives and that was just completely infectious and I came away from there thinking oh my gosh I love this I want I want to do this like full time as my job I I want to make this work for my family um and yeah that's essentially what I'm doing now if you had seen me um back in January <laughs> you would have thought it was a completely different person because my confidence has grown immensely through this business it's been so so lovely and I feel like I'm me again I'm not just a mum I'm Hannah and I'm a businesswoman um, and I've met so many incredible people who have been so encouraging as well. Um, various people through network marketing, people who do like um, mindset and life coaching, people who work in marketing and social media. There's it's just opened up so many opportunities and introduced me to so many people that I know I never would have met if I just carried on like down the path that I was on before um so I'm just trying to think timeline wise now yeah so that was January then March we went into lockdown fun times um and in June this year I promoted to team leader crazy turn of events anyone would have thought that lockdown would be the death of their business but I um my business just exploded over lockdown because so many people are in need of resources for homeschooling 
and people were wanting to earn a little bit of extra money because they were furloughed or they'd lost their jobs. Either their businesses had gone under or they'd been made redundant. So many things happened. But one of the things that I do love about doing this is that I, I'm i responsible for what I earn and I am accountable for that as well. And like any big company can go bust. Some of the biggest companies around have gone bust over lockdown but I don't necessarily need to worry about that because I am making my own money is I'm essentially I'm self-employed um I get out of this what I put into it so if I need to make a bit of extra money then it's all down to me um which can be a scary thought but at the same time it's quite an empowering thing as well because I know that I'm providing for my family. I'm providing for me and my little girl and I'm being a great role model for her for when she's older to see that she can um, do whatever she wants really. And life is gonna throw you curveballs, but that doesn't mean it has to be the end of you. You learn from it and you grow from it. And that's what I love about being an Usborne organizer really. Um, I think, that's pretty much everything up to date, really, um, up to present day. Things are continuing to just grow and grow and grow. Um, and now we're kind of in the little bit of a second wave of um, of COVID. It's just, yeah, it's all a bit strange, but it's nice because I'm still finding this so rewarding, knowing that I'm providing books for people who need them for children that are gonna enjoy them and now we're kind of reaching like the run-up to Christmas as well I'm absolutely loving it because I'm such a Christmasaholic um and yeah it's just so rewarding helping people to get presents for people um for, in their family or helping people to find learning resources for their kids who might be struggling with the stuff that they're doing at school and then you give them um a wipe clean book about telling the time and suddenly they get it. Those are the things that make this all worthwhile. Um, and yeah, this is this is why I love being the book lady as I am known as. Um, so that is my story. Um, I just wanted to kind of open things up. If anyone has got any questions that they wanna put in the comments, now is your chance. I'm just going to have a slurp of my coffee and I'm going to check my phone as well because there is a slight delay. Ah, oh, thank you, Emma. Exactly. You are in control of your own destiny. Yes, that's Jules, my mentor. She's lovely. We are basically each other's cheerleaders. But that's one of the amazing things about this business is that... Um, <clears throat> There's such a nice community of other Asborn organisers around that if you're struggling and you need a bit of a kick up the bum, there's always going to be someone around to help you and to give you that kick up the bum. But likewise, if you just need to have a little bit of a whinge um, because life stuff is getting in the way and driving you crazy, then there's people for that as well. It's like, yeah. I, my mentor is one of my best friends now and we've known each other for almost a year it's yeah it's amazing and that was one of the infectious things about um being at that training event in January I really hope we're going to be able to go ahead with one next year fingers crossed I don't know we'll see what happens but even if we don't the the way that things have changed online and how people are bringing their businesses online and building their businesses online is so amazing that, um, yeah, I'm just so excited for for what the future is going to bring. Tara, I often ask Sarah for a kick at the bum. My friend Sarah, who does this one, is very good at that. Her and another friend, they kind of play good cop, bad cop. Ah, <laughs> Amy, thank you. Fiona, are there other people in your team local to you? Yes, they are. This is one of the things that a lot of people say to me first is, oh, there's a lady in my village or my town that already does Osborne. Um, I don't want to tread on anyone's toes. Trust me, you won't. Um, not only because we've got such a nice kind of community vibe around us, 
but also um prime example being my mentor lives a five minute walk away from me um and there's another person who's on my team who lives literally maybe two or three streets away from her 30 second walk um yeah and there's someone else who lives at the other end of the village so within about a two or three mile radius there's at least I would say four or no not probably half a dozen of us that do Usborne in the little town that I live in and we don't tread on each other's toes whatsoever um if anything it can be um a bit of an advantage because especially last year at Christmas there were so many school events going on locally that obviously I'm only one person I can only be at, in one place at any one time so if I get someone else asking me if I'll do their Christmas fair or whatever um but I've already booked another one then I can pass it on to someone who's on my team or in my upline um and it's really nice because we've got that kind of camaraderie around us that we share the events between us and it never really gets competitive um we're always building each other up, which is, uh, yeah, which is one of the things that I really love about it, because I think in some big companies, things can be quite competitive and catty, but you certainly don't get that with this, which is what I love, because there's enough drama in life as it is without bringing it into work. Um, what have we got here, Julia? I'd love you to explain how easy it is to get that first order. Oh my gosh, so easy to get your first order. Um, what another thing that some people often say to me is that they're worried they're not going to make any sales and one thing that i usually suggest if that is how you're feeling <coughs> excuse me is to throw a party yourself an one party either well we can't really do them in person at the moment so do a virtual one and you will be so surprised once you start sharing with your friends your family mums on the school run people that you know from like gymnastics or netball or other extracurricular activities, people start to come out of the woodwork. And it's really funny because there's always that little kind of apprehension of, is this going to work? Which is totally natural because you're doing something new and something you've never really experienced before. But once people get wind of the fact that you're doing this, then they will absolutely love it, especially this time of year, because things are going to be really strange with Christmas shopping and what have you. So if your friends know that you can get Christmas presents for them, for their kids, and they don't even have to leave the house, they don't even have to go to any extra effort, you can send them the link for the catalogue um, on Facebook or WhatsApp. You can give them one of the leaflets when you go to pick up your little one from school, like I usually do. And then they'll text me an order and then I put the order in, I can either get it sent straight to them, or it comes to me. And then I give it to them a couple of days later when it arrives, and I've done the school run. And it's, yeah, it's brilliant. And I do this with a lot of my friends as well, because some of them do things like Avon or Unique and things like that. And yeah, one of my friends, she handed me an Avon catalogue a couple of days ago. And I handed her back the order form this morning when I dropped my little girl off at nursery and it's so so easy um if yeah if you're worried about it or you kind of apprehensive about signing up initially then I would always suggest have a party first let me help you to organize the party and see how easy it is and yeah I almost guarantee you that it'll be fine um what we've we got here another question what do you find helps with recruiting I've been trying for ages well recruiting is a can be a funny one um some people are very um I don't like to be pushy this is why I'm sitting here with a cuppa talking to you guys because I I can't go in for the hard sell I've got several years experience I think seven or eight years experience of working in retail under my belt and I've never even then never wanted to be pushy with people it's um I don't think that that's encouraging I don't think that it is um an accurate 
reflection of what <clears throat> what being an Asborn organizer is all about because essentially I'd say the majority of us are mums who are muddling through life and are trying to find something that we can fit around our families and so we can earn a bit of extra money and this is essentially what I'm doing with you guys today I'm sharing my story with you I'm having a cuppa um, this is actually fun for me um, because, yeah, I'm just talking about something that I love doing. And I find that sharing the message with other people is, um, yeah, is, is one of the main things because we're all we're all human. We're all winging it. Um, and that is one of the amazing things that I, I love about doing this. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely, Laura. Upfront and honest. That's, yeah. <laughs> like, I should, you need to do that in all aspects of life, really, don't we? It's, uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, life is too short to be, a, like, an inauthentic version of yourself, definitely. Yeah, Emma, take it time to get to know people, because we've all come from different circumstances. Um, I'm a single parent. I have... A history of mental health problems I'm pretty sure I'm on top of them now although having said that last night I was feeling super super anxious and I went to bed early and had a really decent night's sleep and then I got up again today and thought right let's do this and it's just nice because that's the great thing about this business is when you're having a rubbish day you can put it to one side and it will still be there when you're feeling better and likewise if my little girl gets ill and I have to keep her off school, then I can and my business will still be there when I come back. And the way that I quite like to um, kind of schedule out my days at the moment is because she's only doing mornings in nursery for now. I will get all my jobs done. I kind of I come back from the school run and I'm just hit the ground running. But then I know when I pick her up then. I can just chill on the sofa with her in the afternoon. We do some magic painting, do some Play-Doh, get the Lego out, little things like that. And I know that I can still run my business while doing those things because we'll put something like last night, I put room on the broom on and was sat there on my phone messaging people who were wanting to order books for Christmas. That's one of the amazing things about this. I don't have to be sat at a desk all the time. I don't have to be running out to meetings like you can do what you want you can put out you can put in whatever you want um to get the results that you want like don't get me wrong there are elements of this that are going to take a bit of hard work because essentially I do think of this as my job and it's not a get rich quick scheme um people aren't going to earn money like hundreds and thousands of pounds overnight um but if you want something that will earn you some extra money and that you can fit around your family, then this is definitely for you because that's one of the, the amazing things about this is that I know that I've built this up myself um, and that is so, so rewarding. <laughs> Laura, my little girl just heard you say magic painting and now is asking to do it. I'm sorry. At least it's not messy though. Like you can even kind of get your baby wipes out and do it that way if you don't want to get a jar of water. <laughs> oh dear, Jules is not the right way of recruiting. Yeah, exactly. People relate to you. And this is the one of the amazing things about doing us one. It's your business, your way. And I like, it sounds cheesy, but it is. And it's the truth. And that's that's why I love doing it. Um. Has anyone else got any more questions? I've got a couple written down that people sent me before this because they were feeling a bit shy and, yeah, like a bit nervous about interacting. I can't believe how quickly this half hour has gone. I could end up waffling. I could talk about this all day if you really want me to. Anyone? Right, I have got a couple of questions written down here that people had sent me before. Just basic 
kind of FAQs um, that I get sent. And the first one is about the starter kit. Um, it's, yeah, how much is it? It's £48. And in the starter kit, you get £150 worth of books and business stationery. Um, so the business stationery that you'll get is probably a couple of our hard copies of our catalogue, so the printed copies. Um, that may not be so at the moment because the new one is just about to come out in the next month. So I'm not sure what the stock levels are like with that. But yeah, so you get catalogues, you get um, order books, so like the, the duplicate books, and you get a couple of booklets about the... Um, what they call passport to success, which is like our, our quick start period. So the first 12 weeks of your business, I think it might actually be longer now because we're in lockdown. Things have changed slightly. So they give you a little bit more time. Um, so yeah, the first 12 weeks of your business are known as the quick start period. And this is where you get um, regular emails, really nice emails from head office, just kind of guiding you along the way, really, um, with things like, your website, how to process an order, approaching schools and things like that. It's, um, yeah, it's really nice and encouraging. And um, they will give you as much support as you want. I'll give you as much support as you want or as little support as you want. If you just want to like carry on and get on with it, then I will butt out. Um, but likewise, if you need someone who's going to help you step by step, then I can, or I can point you in the direction of the resources that will help you, um, which is one of the other amazing things about this. So in your starter kit, um, you get all, loads of books. I will share a picture of it in the comments um, when I finish this live, because yeah, it's just a massive variety. So there's fiction, there's um, some of the kind of interactive activity books, there's some of the young reading ones, I'm just trying to think some of our kind of reference books are like science and nature and geography ones. There's usually some baby books. It's basically just a whole broad range. Like we do thousands and thousands of different titles in our catalogue. Um, and this is just basically like a snippet of what we have to offer. So you can show people um, the variety of things that we do. And I mean, for 48 quid. 150 pounds worth of books is amazing um the only kind of proviso that you need to do is just basically to stop people from buying the starter kit and just getting a load of discounted books is within your first 12 weeks you will need to do at least one 120 pound order but like i said earlier that is so easy to do if you want to do a party like a launch party for yourself or if you want to do a party for someone else um then yeah, ask me, I can help you set it up. And it's, yeah, it's so easy. You will be quite surprised at how easy it is to get that first order in um, just from doing a party or a little event or something. Um, all right, what else have we got here? Um, there'll be help available. Yes, so the help you get, essentially I would be your mentor if you signed up under me. Um, I know I've only been doing this a year, there are some people who have built their teams and they've been doing it only a couple of months. Everyone is on their own journey and I will give you as much or as little help as you want. I'm very fortunate that I'm in a team of people who, like my mentor has been doing this 14 years. One of my really close friends is on my team. Um, she's only been doing it a few months, but we all support each other, bounce ideas off each other. And if I can't get hold of my mentor for some reason, because we all have our own lives, or if you can't get hold of me, then I guarantee you there will be someone on our little Facebook group or at the end of a phone who can help you out and point you in the direction of um, what you need. And there's amazing resources online on our kind of members area with Usborne. There's loads of training videos. There's loads of kind of printable resources like business stationery. There's templates for business cards. There's templates for letters to send out to schools. There's information about all the brand new titles that come in. Literally, the wealth of information that you get given that you can use as much or as little as you want is amazing. They, they are one of the most supportive companies that I've ever 
had the pleasure to work for. Um, and that is saying a lot after working in retail for like seven or eight years. Um, so yeah, if you want the help, it's there. If you don't and you just want to carry on, then by all means do it. Um, right. Uh, yeah, another one that I often get asked when um, questions it says, well, it's not really a question, it's more of a, an ob objection of sorts is how can I make it work um, if I'm shy or I don't know many people, I've got quite a close knit group of friends. Um, this may come as a bit of a surprise to you because I'm rabbiting away on here, but I definitely class myself as an introvert. Um, I love doing as born events. I love talking to people, but I kind of recharge my batteries personally when I'm quiet at home and just spending time with my little girl. And that has never been a problem with me in terms of growing my business. Um, yeah, even if you've got a small group of friends, I guarantee you, that group of friends, you may be able to count them on one hand, but they may have other friends that you don't really know. And those friends will have other friends and other friends and it just snowballs. And before you know it, you've got a whole web of people around you that could be potential customers um, or even team members that you don't even know about. So don't let that hold you back because it hasn't held me back. I have got a close knit group of friends. Um, I, yeah, and it hasn't hindered me at all. If anything, it's been a good thing because it has pushed me out of my comfort zone and given me more confidence to talk to people that I don't necessarily know. Um, and that's fine because even though I am an introvert, I have these conversations with people. I natter about why I love books so much and I, give them their orders and what have you. And then I come home and I have my peace and quiet. Sometimes depends on if my little girl's around and yeah. And you make it work for you. Like Julie said, it's your business, your way, you do it how you want to do it. Um, uh, another one that I get asked a lot is um, how do you make it work if you're not very savvy with things like Facebook and social media and technology? A um, little nugget of information. Next year is going to be the 40th anniversary of Osborne, um, Osborne Books at Home. And I don't think a company would have grown this much and been going for 40 years um if they weren't willing to learn new things and when you think about it as well 40 years ago internet wasn't around people used to do as bomb parties in their houses with catalogs like tupperware and they have still gone from strength to strength so if you don't know a great deal about technology or facebook or social media then don't let that hold you back because you can still grow your business. You can do it organically. That's exactly what my mentor did. She's been doing this 14 years and she started off growing her business organically um, through word of mouth, handing out leaflets and catalogs at the school gates, having parties and coffee mornings in her own home, little things like that. But likewise, I know that things are different at the moment. Um, I know that we're having to stay in our homes a lot more and we can't necessarily go out and socialize but the community and the support that is around this business is so amazing that you will definitely find someone who can help you to learn these new skills L just last night i had a zoom meeting with my team and i think there was about 12 or 15 of us on it all together and we're all just bouncing ideas off each other about um, doing parties online, sharing tips and tricks and things. And yeah, there's so many different people um, who are at different stages in their business and we all just encourage each other. So please don't let that hold you back. There will be someone there who can help you. Um, most likely it will be me because as you can tell, I'm quite savvy when it comes to social media and the stuff that I do struggle with I have friends who can help me, <laughs> which is great. Um, 
And they're usually just at the end of the phone. I'll either WhatsApp them or messenger them and say, I can't seem to work out my Facebook group. This setting has changed. Can you help me? And then I'm there with my phone tapping away and they come straight back to me and it's great. And if they don't, then we then I'll find someone else. And there's always going to be someone there to help you. It's amazing. Um, right. Let me just have a quick look at my comments because... I know that there's a bit of a delay and I'm just conscious of time as well because I've, it's been over half an hour. Um, ah, another thing as well um, that some people are kind of a little bit apprehensive about is the cost of the starter kit. Because I know as a parent, forking out £48 for it can be it's a, it can be a chunk of money when you're having to buy school uniforms and pay for after school clubs and goodness knows what else. I just seem to spend all my money on snacks for my little girl at the moment. It's insane. But one of the amazing things that I love um, about when you're in your quick start period as well in that first 12 weeks is that they there are a couple of incentives that Usborne do um, for what they call kit boost and kit refund so kit boost is you have to place i think it's three orders within a certain amount of time so 320 pound orders within a certain amount of your first few weeks and they'll send you an extra 50 quids worth of books and that's your kit boost um and then if you do the same again by the end of your quick start period i think it is so the 12 weeks i will double check this information and share it all with you when this is finished um but yeah if you do that again then you get your money refunded back to you so yeah the money that you spent on your kits will come back to you as credit on your account and you can use that to spend on books or eventually they'll pay it into your bank account which is amazing. So if you are um, worried about the initial kind of payout for it, although to some people it's not huge, to others it is huge. It was it was a, an investment for me when I signed up because I was a single parent and that is a, a lot of money to me at the time. But placing those orders, um, having parties, getting out and kind of socialising with other people is a great way to not necessarily build up customers but also to get those incentives as well which is one of the other many things that I love about this business is that there's no targets to hit there's no one breathing down your neck saying you haven't made enough sales this month you're not going to get paid and all of this there's nothing like that it's absolute bliss I had enough of that when I was working in retail <laughs> um the only thing that there is, is incentives. And if you want to go for them, then you can. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Just carry on, like, ordering your books, having your parties, and enjoying the the journey that you are on with this business. Um, some of the incentives are amazing, though. Um, they do travel incentives. Um, I think this year's, bless them, the ladies that, um, that won it, it's been postponed. They're supposed to be going to Cuba, but obviously things are locked down at the moment. Um, but the ones they've done in the past are they've been to Las Vegas, um, to India. I think the one at the moment is to win a trip to Thailand. And it's really nice as well because it's not just necessarily like a like a holiday as well. Obviously, it is a holiday, but they schedule out the itinerary for you. And you're with a group of Usborne organisers. So I think there's like eight or ten people that go with you. But you're all Usborne organisers. It's basically like a girl's holiday. <laughs> um, and you get to do sightseeing. And they book stuff in for you, head office do. And your hotel's all paid for. And your food is all paid for. And it's just a really nice way of spoiling you and rewarding your hard work. And... Like, I haven't qualified for a travel incentive yet. To be honest with you, it hasn't been on my radar. But now I'm seeing just how much my business is growing. It definitely is next year because that is I've that's something that I've always wanted to do is to be able to travel more and to be able to travel with my daughter as well. Because I am conscious that uh, 
the dynamic of our family is different and I don't want her to miss out on things. Um, but that's just one of the nice things about this business is there's so much that you can get involved in or you can choose to get involved in. You don't have to if you really don't want to. Um, you can make this as big as you want or you can just keep it ticking along nicely and having it as a hobby or having it as a side hustle or you can make it your full-time job. It's entirely up to you. Um, so if anyone hasn't got any more questions, I think I'm going to wrap it up there because I've gone over 40 minutes now. <laughs> See, I told you I love talking about this. Um, if you want to carry on the conversation with me um, or, yeah, you just want to pick my brains a bit more, if there's anything that I haven't covered in this live today, then please drop me a message. Um, we can schedule in a Zoom meeting together or I can video call you or or anything. Just, yeah, let me know. And I would love to have a natter with you about it a bit more because um, I totally get it. We've all got different things going on in our lives at the moment. We all come from different circumstances, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that has to hold you back from starting something like this and achieving amazing things because honestly if you had seen me a year ago it's just yeah it's insane how much I've grown and how much my business has grown and I would love to be able to see someone else do that with their lives as well because it is so rewarding yes Julie's business is amazing and travel is excellent I never would have been to places around the world I have without Usborne exactly I think Julie's been to Hong Kong with Usborne as well like it's just amazing um so so rewarding and yeah it's yeah I love it <laughs> I'm waffling now if you want to drop me a message then please feel free I'll share all that extra information in the comments for you and I'll put it on my page um, but I just want to say thank you so much for joining me this morning. I've had an absolute blast, as you can tell. I love talking about Esborn. I love this. Um, and I love just interacting with you all as well. It's it's really nice to know that even though we've got to stay in our homes, um, we can still socialise and I can still find my tribe, as it were. Um, ah, oh, Amy, bless you. You're welcome. Amy's in my team as well. She's lovely. This is the nice thing. We all build each other up. Um, we're all each other's cheerleaders. And if you want to do this, then just go for it. Because I had nothing to lose when I signed up for this. And it's one of the best decisions I ever made. So, yes. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Um, I'll catch up with you really soon. And if you've got any more questions, then please just drop me a message, okay? I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.